America, since its beginning, has worked to emphasize a bright and virtuous image. The Midwest, especially, was viewed as being genuinely wholesome, which may have been true back then in some ways, and may continue to be true now, depending on who you are. However, the middle of this star-spangled country also has a knack for being very, very shady. And it's difficult to imagine anyone being more magnificently shady than Chicago's unofficial historic sweetheart, Alphonse Gabriel Capone. Capone is seen as this, uh, this villainous hero. Capone really was kind of a bad guy. Nowadays, he's an actual legend. He's crossed over from history to be something bigger than life. And along with Al Capone came a lot of his cronies, a lot of his, his entourage. New York's loss was the second city's gain, one that it wasn't quite ready for. The endurance of Scarface's impact says as much about us as it does about him. And the impressions he made on the places that he frequented seemed to be permanent. It's one of the interesting things about criminology is, is the relationship between the physical environment in, in criminal activity. Since that's the case, we may as well make an attempt to understand how this happened. <laughs> 